What is going on dudes, Obsessed Sangling TV, we're back with another video. Today I'm out fishing with my dad, and we are slip floating skiing for kings. Basically, we're running a slip float right there, and then down to skiing. That skiing's a little old, I'm just gonna redo it a little bit, but yeah, we got four rods out right now. Um, yeah, hopefully we catch some fish. If you guys are not subscribed to the channel and want to subscribe, hit the subscribe button, the post notifications will notify you of the next upload. If you guys do enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like and a comment. I respond to all my comments. I'm probably gonna go over my full rig at the end and maybe catch and cook, but we'll see. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Might be over. It's over. Appreciate it. Should be. Appreciate it. I think I'm hooked up on you now. I'm gonna get spooled. Okay. What do I do? Is that my fish? He just netted my fish? What the heck? Nice. What the heck? I don't have much line left. Alright. That doesn't even really count as a fish catch, does it? No. Got him. Crazy fight. Not really a fight or anything. It just ran into a troller, but they ended up netting the fish and bringing it over. Sweet looking buck. But yeah, they had it out of the water for a little while, so we're actually going to keep this one and give it to my buddies to smoke, but they're looking fish. Good.
There we go. Good stuff, Dad. Just locked up on a hen. Beautiful fish. That was like two minutes after we caught that one fish that ran into the trollers, but that's a sweet fish. We're gonna use this one for skein and yeah, sweet looking fish. Got him. Real, 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 real. Real, 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 real. I'm gonna get this right out of your way. Right here. He's not done. Is that drag good? I watched the bobber go down. Yeah, I, yeah. I saw the line come down. Fighting good? Yeah. Long rod though. Yeah, they're fun, aren't they? Get him, get him, get him. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just running bobbers and skein. What's that? Bobbers and skein. Oh, okay. Yep. Not a bad one. I couldn't tell if it was a buck or a hen, could you? Pull beans to him now. Looks like he's gonna get in the line. There he is. I thought you just broke him off for a second. That's a good mom. That's a good buck. Looked like a mom at first, but it's a buck. Yeah, good stuff. Gain rate and chops. Out fishing with Owen this morning. We just got our first buck here. Nice fish. Having a nice day. We're gonna release this one here. So. Back to the bottom. Oh, that's a giant. Right. Hooked up. My dad was on a phone call. We were getting all rods rigged up, but we are hooked up. Look at that one, though. Right. It's gone. You can't even see it. That's a giant. Got this big buck, gave us a good fight. 
I'm gonna release this one, so. Hardly could get any footage. We're trying to rig rods, and he was on a phone call for business. <laughs> yeah, so we don't have any rods in the water. <laughs> we'll get him back. He should be good to go. That's yeah, so cool. There he goes. Gonna catch up to him. Can you watch Oh, you turn that GoPro on? Thanks, dude. No, this is bad. Someone's gonna have to uncoil that. Yeah. Oh, it's good. It's good. Down, though. Hey, Will. <laughs> is that tilted up good? Little guy. Locked up on a little buck, first fish of the night. That's a little cromer. Can't tell if that's a male or a female, I can't tell. <laughs> but looks like a little buck. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Cool little fish. All right guys, so this is my rig. Um, mainly I use braid on my slip float to my swivel, but right now I'm running a mono just so you guys can see it a little better hopefully. Um, first things first to start out on your main line, which would be probably your braid, is you're on a bobber stop, you basically Put your line through one of those wires, slip off the bobber stop and a little bead that comes up. So that's basically going to be what this is right here. That's your bobber stop. And then this bead slides. It's going to slide with your float. That bead is going to slide up and hit that bobber stop. And then it's going to stop your float initially. So you can slide this bobber stop however depth you want. You're mainly going to be running this about three to five feet off the bottom is what worked for me. Once you get your slip float on, I put a half ounce egg sinker which slides on the main line and then I also put a six millimeter bead which also slides but it also prevents the egg weight from going through your swivel. It also cushions it a little bit. And then once you got your swivel on, then I put two splish out right there. You can stagger them on your main line but it's what works for me, like I said. And then I'm just snelling a hook. Snelling that hook right there. And then you can slide this back. And then you get a loop. And then that's where you can put your skein in right there. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like and a comment. It helps push the video out to new viewers. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed.